Oh, that's all we need is just a dragon monster? Cool. So we can keep Black Fire Dragon, which is nice. Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Oh, wait. Did we get to take it? Oh my god, we took his monster. Oh. I messed up. I messed up real bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna surrender. I hate we'll we'll be back, guys. What is everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Duelist Link Evolution. We're on episode 17, I believe, and we're going to be continuing on with this Let's Play. But as you guys can tell, things are a little bit different for today's episode. So as you guys can tell, I have a brand new uh, camera instead of using webcam. So previously I was using a um, Logitech C920 and now I upgraded to a Sony A6000. So if you know those technical terms that you do, if you don't just, this is an actual camera before I was using a webcam, TLDR when it comes to that stuff. And yeah, I know I'm super excited that I finally got all this thing set together. There's a couple like settings that I need to figure out with my camera. Right now I'm doing pretty much everything in auto because I looked up a lot of videos online on uh, getting the best quality for like, you know, streaming and uh, video creation for using a camera instead of a webcam, but every time I do that it looks horrible So I'm just sticking with auto uh, for now But I don't know you can tell the difference a little bit from a previous webcam This looks a lot nicer full screen wise than in my previous episode So I'm extremely happy about that and I'm excited to continue on my YouTube adventure with this brand new camera It's like a new stepping stone when it comes to my content creation So I'm definitely looking forward to that another thing too is that what is funny though is that I wanted to like move forward with this new camera with like all my content but uh, what's funny is, so I'm recording this episode specifically on May 29th of 2019. And my uh, in my previous episode, the Wing Dragon Raw episode, I haven't uploaded yet. Like that video is not getting uploaded until like uh, May 29th or May 30th. So whenever this video uploads, that's like days from now and all that stuff. But like today, I wanted to do all my content with my brand new um, camera and all that jazz. But then I found out it's like, oh, kind of forgot that. Well. <laughs> don't have that video edited so that's a big omega low but it doesn't really matter just breaking the fourth wall and i finally have a chance to talk to you guys again because i haven't made um any videos in a while now because i've been busy with school and now i'm done with school i'm a very happy boy when it comes to that stuff so yeah without further ado let's get into today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! legacy of duos link evolution let's get into it as monsters appeared all over the city the public accused kaiba and kaiba court for these monster sightings i think someone's trying to make a fool out of me i've worked too hard repairing the reputation of this company this has to stop Seto, check our database! There's something out there that's buying up every share of our company! Mokabai, you're right! If these numbers are accurate, almost half of Kyber Corps have been bought by one person, and they're still buying, but how could that be? What are we gonna do? We have to stop them. If they buy any more shares, they can take control of the entire company. Wait, there's only one person who's capable of something like this. Pegasus! Seto, Kaiba, and Mokuba went to Duel's Kingdom to confront Pegasus. Show yourself, Pegasus! Ha 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 ha! Lack of patience never fails to amuse me. Accidentally did a Pegasus voice with a Seto Kaiba's voice. Too late now. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Omega lol. You're irritating as ever. What's the deal, Pegasus? I just haven't been myself lately. In fact, I mean that quite literally. What's going on? Surprise! I've been waiting for this day for a long time, Kaiba boy. You know, doing the mix of that uh, Maximilian Pegasus right there. Omega lol. Identify yourself! Iliaster is the name, Kaiba boy. Now let's duel. This spell card is about to change everything, activating the seal of Orichalcos. What's that? Explain yourself now! We're trapped in here until the duel's over. Then, once I crush you, I'll be able to get out. Of course, you, on the other hand, won't be quite as lucky as myself, Kaiba boy. What do you mean? When you lose, your soul will be locked away for all eternity. Let my brother out! You have no idea who you're messing with! Sure I do, I'm messing with the greedy little punk though who's just as pathetic as this old man. What did you say to me? No one compares me to my stepfather and gets away with it. He's a worthless snake. Like you. My family business has nothing to do with you. I guess again, your family business has everything to do with me. It was seven years ago today, a day that I'll never forget. The tanks came and took my brother. I soon found out who was responsible. Gorzabo Kaiba. I honestly have no clue to pronounce that name. Your father did this to me. Now you run his evil empire, so it's your fault too. And then that's it for that segment right there. So let's go switch to that um, right there. And we're going to be using the story deck. I'm in the mood to use a little bit of that blue eyes white dragon. But one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode uh, with my whole tangent at the beginning is that I want to ask you guys again, what decks do you guys want me to create for this Let's Play? I'm rocking the Amazon deck. 
Rocket the Red Eyes deck for a while. Now I want to get some more suggestions on if you guys still want me to make the Rocket decks. I know I said I was going to build a Rocket deck um, in this uh, Let's Play, but I'm just asking again, do you guys want me to build Rockets? Do you guys want me to build Blue Eyes, Dark Magician? All of that stuff right there. But just keep in mind that uh, don't give suggestions until you see like what packs I have, or if you kept up with the series and you would know how many packs that I have unlocked. Like, uh, for example, I can make any deck from the Dual Monsters pack and then Playmakers pack. I can't make anything from the GX5D, Zexel, or um, or Arc 5 yet because I don't have those packs unlocked on this specific account or whatever. And after this duel, if I remember, I'll show you guys my deck and all that jazz and what we can do. So, yeah, and also breaking the fourth wall yet again. I actually tried to record this Let's Play um, today, and I realized that my audio wasn't correct and I was recording things wrong. But things should be situated now, but there's a couple things I forgot um, to mention, but so first of all, in the previous time I tried to record this um, episode, um, I realized that Soto Kaiba has Fang Acridias, which is funny how they don't mention that he has this card at all um, in the beginning portion, but it's chilling in his deck. So you know what, for the memes, we're going to activate it right now. Let's activate the Fang Acridias since we can. I think we, yeah, try, whoa. Okay, so when I first did this, when, when I first played this, I was using um, Seto Kaiba's uh, Crush Card Virus Fusion, but Tyrant Burst Dragon's looking pretty spicy, okay? And that's what we need, Tyrant Ring and the Finger Critias? That's really spicy. Yeah, we just have Tyrant Burst Dragon just like that. That is cool. That's actually sick. And then next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna summon the Y Dragon Head. Probably should have summoned it in defense position, though, now thinking about it, because that is looking like a mirror wall. Uh, I can target one face of monster control. Oh. Oh! This is not a good idea right now, but this equip effect is actually pretty spicy. We can get like blue eyes white dragon equipped with tyrant burst. That'd be crazy spicy. Oh my goodness. So we we'll have to consider that um in a little bit. Maybe we can summon judgment and attack three times because it says you can make three attacks during each battle phase, bro. That is actually kind of sick in my opinion. And you can target any monster you control. Tyrant burst dragon is kind of cool. Might be able to finish off this duel really quick if things go our way. It's because someone is gonna add another sealed lord calculus. I'm gonna add another one of those. What are you gonna do, bud? Oh, you just gonna set, dog? Monster Reborn? What is this mad lad doing? That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll survive. We'll survive right there. Oh, backup warrior. That's not cool. Oh, I was really hoping to equip. Or I was hoping to keep White Dragon Head around, tributes it off for Judge Man, and then equip Tyrant Burst Dragon. But no, Iliaster has to be a, or an Alster, or whatever his name is, to be a jerk. Okay, so we're gonna set gear go, go or whatever this thing's called And then we're gonna go into our battle phase and go attack into that stinky backup warrior Get rid of that boy and oh can we attack again? Well, we can cool We probably should have attacked. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I had Vietnam flashbacks because that card cyber soldiers and dueling So that card gives me Vietnam flashbacks and we can attack the other thing too. Okay. This card can attack. Okay, so try try and burst dragon can attack every monster. But if you equip it, then you can um but then if you equip it to a monster, then you can attack three times no matter what. That's kind of cool. Try and burst dragon is actually a really sick fusion. I am happy that I chose Seto Kaiba's uh, story deck instead of uh instead of uh, what's it called? Instead of his other stuff. <gasps> monster reborn! Hey, you wanna see some combo wombos? Actually, well, let's go for Jujido Man. Go for your boy, Judge It Man, because we out here judging Elaster or Iliaster, however you pronounce this character's name. Because I just realized I was pronouncing it wrong. Activate its effect, equip it to your boy, Judge It Man. And that's all we need, baby. That's all we need. Look at this damage we're about to ensue 26 hundo. And then another 26 hundo. We got the exact amount of life points. Spicy. That was a spicy duel, that's for sure. After the duel with Elaster, Kaiba went to Pegasus Company's Industrial Illusions to look for answers. There, he encountered Yugi and his friends. Kaiba! Oh, great. Any sign of Pegasus? Uh huh, and I'm afraid we're too late. That's right, believe it or not, my Valentine got to him before we did. He took his soul with some Or Calculus thing. Pegasus? Not quite, it's a hologram. Yugi boy, at least I hope that it's you that found this room. If you're hearing this, it only can mean the gentlemen who are after my soul were certainly able or finally able to capture me. So please listen closely. This is it. It all began when a mysterious man tried to buy out my company, but there's more. An individual processes of an ancient power stronger than anything I've seen, and his name is Darts. Who's Darts? 
Yugi, it's a hologram. Why are you asking questions? Maybe, you know what, maybe this technology is too advanced for me to understand. Maybe it's just built like that where it can respond to people's questions. He's trying to resurrect the most terrifying beast to ever roam the Earth, the Great Leviathan, by draining the souls of man and beast. And if his plan works, darts will have exceeded, unleashing the truly devastating power, the legs of which has not been seen for 10,000 years. Time is running out. My cute little dual monsters will soon be gone, along with the rest of the world. Only you can save the poor creatures that made my game famous. Okay, so that is it for that. But we're going to be continuing on with the uh, next part for fighting for a friend. And I'm looking forward to this one, because this is Joey versus the um, other guy that got Maya's girl. It's a battle of the waifu. And I'm on Joey. Shout out to your boy Joey. We're on Joey's side for this one. Joey chased after one of the robbers of Valon. I know that guy. He's the one that took my. Right you are, mate. Look, pal, I want my back. Why chase me? She happens to just have a mind of your own, you know. She did. At least she did before you guys brainwashed her. Hey, you don't get it, mate. No one was brainwashed. Mai chose to join our side with her own free will. And you want to know why? She was sick of taking back a seat while I got all the fame. Then when I stepped in, I changed all of that. You messed with their head. That's what you did. She was one of my best friends. But last time I saw her, she was saying things that Mai would have never said. God, commentating these guys is just... Ah, oh, it's difficult. <laughs> Wake up, Wheeler. I led you here to get rid of you for good because Mai can't be happy with you around. What did that mean? You're a constant reminder of what her life used to be, and Maya wants to forget all of that. But as long as you exist in this world, she'll be never, never able to forget. So I'm gonna erase you for good. To himself. Plus, I know that deep down Maya still loves you, and I can't have that. What do you say, Wheeler? So we got ourselves to duel or not? Not that I'm giving you much of a choice. I never back down from a challenge, especially when I'm fighting for a friend. Now let's duel! Okay, that, like I said, that was a, that was a pain. Also, we're gonna do story deck again. Uh, using the, um, the, uh, dragon fusion cards is actually pretty fun, so. We're gonna use, uh, Joey's, uh, pre-build deck. And just go around. We're gonna go do that spicy a second place. And we're gonna see what happens. And draw, draw, draw. Interesting hand, and hey, this is a pre-build deck, but we have Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. That's sick. That's actually awesome. I'm actually really happy that they added that. And we got the Claw of Hermos. I wonder if we're going to be able to use it or not right away, like we did with the uh, Soda Kaiba's deck. Let's see. So we're going to draw a card. And also, why wait, Why does Joey have a Tuner monster? Does he have a... Okay, he doesn't have any Synchro monsters. What is Joey's deck? And we can activate Claw of Hermos. So let's do it, baby. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go... Let's go to Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Boom. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all we need is just a dragon monster? Cool. So we can keep Black Flare Dragon, which is nice. Red Eyes, Black Dragon Sword. Oh, wait. Did we get to take it? Oh my god, we took his monster. Oh. I messed up. I messed up real bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna surrender. I hate we'll, we'll be back, guys. Second attempt i i may have been able to come back from that but nah i'm taking that l dude i'm taking that fat l i literally just gave him a 3000 attack monster read your cards oh my god that was that was actually hilarious you know what we got a hand that's also really bad and i'm going first i'm not feeling joey's deck if i'm being honest i thought this episode was gonna be pretty short but no this episode is gonna be pretty long because we were using some epic story decks that's for sure. God dang it, man. That claw, the Hermos, or whatever it is, has been biting my butt, dude. Holy. It's gonna activate his terraforming. Like, dude, these guys always hop back into terraforming or calculus. It's like they're it's like we're playing the anime or something. Because someone has Despot 001 now. And, and that actually makes a lot of sense. Now, I don't know if Despots were introduced during this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! But this actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Cause from what I remember from the episode of Valon vs. Joey, there's some whack Power Ranger stuff that was happening. And Valon had a deck similar to these like Power Ranger looking guys. And death spots look like Power Rangers. So I can understand why they gave him a deck like that. But yeah, no, actually, never mind. Clearly, death spots were not from the original Yu Gi Oh! era because that's a tuner monster. Add one spell card uh, from your deck and add from your deck or graveyard. So we can't activate that because we top deck into both of our red eyes transfer. Okay. That pre-representation of rights thing, we bricked hard. We bricked so bad that we can't even use like a spell card that would have been able to help us combo into the pieces that we need to go into. That's an L. 
That's a big L right there. Who? What? De whose deck is this? I'm legit confused. Whose deck is this? Whose man's is this? Who plays Ancient Gear Box? Valon, your deck is from like not this time. Not not Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters, that's for sure. It's all good though, I guess. Let's hopefully we can top deck into something that we can use. Marauding Captain, let's get it. it it's something. <laughs> God, Marauding Captain's about to get yeeted off the face of this planet, dude. He's about to get destroyed. You know what? I am fine sacrificing Rada Captain through his Soaku Daku armor. It would have been a lot better. It, it could have been much worse. I could have summoned into my ritual monster and only get cocked by Sakuraku armor, so I'll take it. But it still doesn't change the fact that we bricked so bad. Okay. So if we kill the Sealed Board Calculus, he gets another one right up his sleeve. That's annoying. Battle phase, take another thousand points of damage. Could be worse. Main phase two. Thank you, thank you for not setting any face downs. I appreciate it. Draw to a card. Come on, I Black Flare Dragon. You're the real MVP, but this is not the time. This is not. I can't even summon you, dude. God dang it, man. Joey's deck. Joey, shuffle your deck better, my guy. We're slowly getting killed by a singular ancient gear box. A singular ancient gear. Andy sets a card. Oh man, we are not winning this one. We ain't winning this duel. That's for sure. Joey, shuffle your deck properly, dog. Oh my god, this. Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. I mean, I should do that. I should surrender again. But holy crap! Actually, you know what? It's time. You know what? This this is what we needed. We need. <laughs> we are able to finally discard a red eyes black flare dragon. So now we're gonna be able to summon our red eyes black flare dragon from the graveyard. Oh my goodness. Anyways, once per turn you can target. Uh, you target. Okay. As long as it's not like. Oh shit. We might. How much attack points are these death spots gonna have? Okay, how much? Okay, so what does this do? If you have pawn, pawn uh, you can activate it once per battle. You can send one and. Okay, so we're gonna take the damage from death spot 004. Um, I think. Now we should do it, because I think death spot 004 is able to uh, gain a crap ton of attack points. And kill off our Black Flare Dragon. So we're gonna summon a Red Black Flare Dragon now. I could have been making a misplay right there. I easily could have, but uh, we're gonna rock this decision. He's also switching that to defense position, so hopefully that means he doesn't have anything up his sleeve. Hopefully. Um, honestly, I want to as much as I want to summon Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon, just in case if he has any back row. We're gonna do this, and then oh, we can't even attack. Oh. I don't know, wait, is... Why can we not attack? I genuinely don't know. Uh, your opponent monster... Wait. While I control two or more, your opponent cannot attack your monster with the lowest... Oh, jeez. Seal or Calculus is cucking me. Damn. I might have to use a story deck. I might have to use a story deck after this one. This is not epic. This is not an epic gamer moment, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, just gonna summon Death Spot 003. He's gonna do his whole Death Spot combo to get his Death Spots to have a ridiculous amount of attack. And yeah, 3500 attack. That's a GG right there. That is a GG right there, dog. Okay. Yep, Death Spot 004's effect's gonna activate. Jesus Christ, this guy's about to OTK me, dog. Dang. Okay, well, we're gonna try this one more time with the uh, store or with the user deck, and we're gonna get justice for Joe. We're gonna use our red eyes deck, and hopefully, it goes out better than that train wreck of a duel, that's for sure. I thought this episode was gonna be a short episode, too, but clearly, that is not the case. Clearly, that's not the case. Go on second, I appreciate it, Valon. Hopefully, you brick and I get a god hand. I'd appreciate that. That'd be nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like this hand. This hand's fucking great. Exactly. This hand's actually really good. Chain of Assembly Align. Someone's into Despot 004. As long as they don't activate zero or Calculus, I don't give a shit about what you do. I am a, a neutral party. Red Eyes Insight. Nice. That's really good. That's really good. Now, what do I want to get rid of? Banishing one face up. You can special one from your hand or graveyard, except. So, you can special summon this card by banishing once per turn. You could special summon one dragon type monster from your hand. See, I'm always confused about Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon. Like, is this a card you want in your graveyard? Once per turn, you can special summon one dragon type monster, except. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think that card needs to be on the field. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for that Duel Links combo, send the Red Eyes or Dragon Archfiend to the grave. And I guess we'll add Spirit, because I kind of want to pop off my Geminis right now. I kind of want to pop off my Geminis right now, so we're gonna do that. Uh, now what do we want to do? So I think I'm gonna activate Catalyst Field. We're going to, let's summon into you. And then let's go Kimmy Creator, um, Oxy Ox. Activate its effect. Special Summon Red Eyes, Black Flare Dragon. And then, so we can't do that. Is this sent from the Ganada Red Eyes? Okay. Because we can go to Red Eyes, Flare Dragon. Once per turn, you can detach and target. It. Okay. That's something to ponder about. Ponder, ponder, ponder. I think what I'm going to do is that we're going to equip the Black Metal Dragon. Equip to you. And then we're going to Special Summon Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this, but that's what we're going to do. This probably wasn't the best decision, but we're going to be a rock in that. We're going to be a rock in this. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Boom, bada, bang, there we go. Activate Black Metal Dragon's effect. Oh, I don't know what I was able to chain, so I kind of just clicked no. Not sure what to do. Uh, let's go for that. What card do I want to go for? I guess we could go to Red Eyes Fusion. Well, no, that we can't do that because our extra monster slots filled up. Whoops. Probably could have got better value out of that. Oh well. Uh, let's do this though. Discard our Black Flare Dragon. Oh, that's cool. That's, uh, this is epic. This is an epic gamer moment. And then let's equip Supervise. We could have also went into our Black Skull Archfiend guy. That would have been nice too. Well, let's go swing it to you. Okay, he doesn't have the card that he needs. Man, we are actually crazy close to finishing off Valon. If we had a hundred extra points of damage, we would have been able to finish him off. Oh, actually, no, I did not do my math correctly. Never mind. If we needed more than that. We needed a little, I was a thousand points off. Okay, I'm glad it's face down with Jar Greed of all things, and he has to take damage. Valon can only activate one card. I don't think Valon has any chance of winning this one. Omega Lull. Okay, you gotta take another uh, points of damage, my guy. I take, yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, whoops, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, I did an oopsie. I did an oopsie. Now I don't know if it, yeah, I made a, did an oopsie. He doesn't take that 600 points of damage effect anymore. Cause I activated that, whoops. Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Um, well no, he's gonna be able to get a bunch of monsters out. Yeah, okay. So he knows he has to get rid of my Arch of Lightning, so that's the only way I'm able to win. Because with Seal or Calculus, we can't attack into all of his monsters right now. Luckily, luckily we have your boy Red Eyes Spirit to come through, and we're gonna clear out all of these uh, Red Eyes cards. But I should have not, should have not activated Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon's effect right there. So then Valen wouldn't have been able to pop off all of this because he would have to pay a bunch of life points. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon is a pretty cool effect. I like it. Anyways, let's go normal normie summon. Hopefully he doesn't have Trenchal Tributes. Now we're gonna wipe off his whole field. And yeah, we're good to go. We we are able to win right here because even if he has like Mirror Force or something, we can, uh, our Supervisor would revive our Black Flare Dragon. Yeah, it's fine, I don't care. Whatever, whatever. Sakuraku armor could be a 10 a million times worse. So there we go, let's get into the dialogue. You did it, you won, goodbye. It's all my fault. Don't be silly, Maya. I caused my own downfall. I thought if I won, I could make you forget Joey Wheeler, but I understand why he meant so much to you. That guy's got heart. Look what the Ori Calculus dragged in. My former employee. Now it's my Valentine's turn to send me a soul or give up her own. Ha 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 ha. How could he do this? Val is the one who told me he had a duel for myself, and then he turns around and fights you to protect me? How pathetic. He deserved this. Hold on, Vala may have annoyed me, but no one deserves to have their soul taken away and then held captive by some power-hungry psychopath. I don't care who they are. <sighs> you know what, Maya? As long as that Ori Calculus thing has control over your mind, I'll never be able to talk sense to you. Matter of fact, the only way I can save you at this point is to duel you. Try saving yourself, I'm doing just fine without your help. And you learn if you cramp my cell, you'll end up in a world of hurt. 
understand everything, Mai. You forgot what Doolin's all about, so I'm here to remind you about the heart of the gods. <sighs> you think you're gonna teach me a lesson about dual monsters? You're wasting your time. The Sea of Livori Kalkos. Exhausted from the last duel of Vylon, Joey was unable to finish the duel. Gra Congratulations, you win. I'm too exhausted to finish. You're wrong. I never attacked, so you didn't lose the duel. I will let the Ori Calculus take you away, Joey. Too late for that. I lost the duel. There's no turning back. I'm just glad that I, if one of us had to lose our soul, it didn't have to be you, Mai. Joey, no! Mai broke free of Darts' influence over her, but Joey's soul was captured by the Ori Calculus. How could I be so selfish? You're the closest friend I ever had, and how did I repay you by leaving you for a madman who promised me power? I'll make him regret the day he met Vine Valentine. No way. What happened? He lost the duel. Wait, does that mean? Yes, his soul belongs to Darts now. L. That was a, actually, L. That's a big L right there. That is a big sad, that is a sad way to end off today's episode, but that's going to be wrapping up today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. If you guys enjoyed it and you haven't already, be sure to show your support by hitting that like button on the video down below, and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution content. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, today's um, video, and I'll go see you guys in the next episode of Legacy of the Duelist. It's a very sad episode of what just happened, that's for sure.